Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the eighth video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow. So in my last video, we have understood the concept of modifying and the list and form, right? We have seen how we can personalize a form and list and also configure a form and list. What are the difference between them and how you can do it? I have shown you practically in the ServiceNow developer environment, right? So that was a very important video, guys. So if you missed that video, don't worry. I'm put, going to put the link in the description. And also you can find the link right now here on your screen. Okay, so before starting today's class, actually today we are going to start a new section uh, that we have already discussed in my introduction video that we will go section by section. Okay, so just to clear your understanding. So you can see in my screen, so we have covered the ServiceNow overview. What is ServiceNow releases, personal developer environment, list and forms, filter and search. We have seen condition builder. Also, we have seen context menu and finally modifying list and form. And now we will move to the next one and that would be the customization. It is very, very important. Now, this is the actual place where you will deal with more logical stuff and more kind of the administrative stuff like the policies, actions, business rules. Okay. So today's video we will complete the server side versus client side you can understand by name of the video that we are going to learn about it and after that we'll continue with policy ui policies actions business rules client script everything right and this video would be a short video uh, with full of information so make sure you watch the full video to understand the concept okay let's start so client side versus server side which is which is a very very important concept guys and remember if you clear this concept today, then it would be very easier for you to understand the later videos like UI policies, UI actions, because based on this concept of client side and server side, those customization are dependent, right? So make sure you understand it completely, watch the complete video to clear your concept, right? So before going into the client side and server side, let's understand the difference between a web application and the normal desktop application. So what is a desktop application? like? like the applications which stores the data locally in your system. For an example, if you use Office, Microsoft Excel, or if you use, uh, you know, Photoshop, this software, these applications are known as desktop application. They store the data locally and you don't need an internet connection to run it also, right? But for the web application, in web application, the data are stored in the data center directly. So if I give an example of Facebook, YouTube stuff, and for using web application, you need to use the, you need to have the internet connection, right? So these are the difference between desktop application and web application. Now coming to the client side and server side in service now. So client side simply means from where you are accessing the service now. So if you have a laptop, like I'm showing in the screen, if you have a laptop and you are using, you know that, you know, for to access service now, you need to go to the browser. Maybe it's Chrome, maybe it's maybe it's Edge, okay? And you are giving the URL like developer.servicenow.com, then you are opening your ServiceNow developer instance, okay? So for opening ServiceNow, you are using the laptop and the browser. So here, this is the client. Your browser is the client from where you are opening the ServiceNow. So that's the client. Now, suppose whenever you search for an incident, so before proceeding with the PowerPoint, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to the ServiceNow developer instance and quickly I will search for an incident and then I will come back to the screen and I will tell you the how it is working in the backend and how the server side and client side is uh, doing an impact. Okay. Okay. So I am back in my ServiceNow developer instance, guys. And from here, I will go to the all section. And let's go to the incident dot list again, which is a common uh, table that we are using for throughout these videos. Don't worry, we will learn about other tables also like problem change and many more. OK, so now I'm back in the incident table. Now from here, now you can search for an incident, you know, right from you can search for here. You can search in the global. OK, that doesn't matter. So let's copy this incident. Let's copy it and let's search it. So you see the incident form view appears and you have the incident number and all the details. So this data from where this data is coming. That's the question and how it is traveling now. Okay. So if I search for another incident now, then another incident data will come up. So all the fields you can see a number, category, subcategory, service. So all of the values will change as per the search. Okay, so how it is happening? So to understand it, 
let's go back to the powerpoint okay so from the laptop what you did you open service now and then you search for the incident once you search for the incident that's the client end right that's the client side you have actually sent a request you have actually sent a request to the application server okay so you are sending the request whenever you're searching for an incident change anything anything you are typing you are requesting the application server which is in the server side okay application server you understand it has to be in server side and then then application server whenever you're looking for an incident application server request the database server you know in the, in the database service now database all these data stores that i need this uh, incident so pritam has searched for this incident i need the details of the incident which is stored in the database so application server request to the database server so database server is located on the service now data center okay so all the data of service now that you saved that's stored in the service now data center that we have also previously discussed in the introduction video so now when you are when the application server is request for the incident details then from the database server the record get fetched and it is coming back to the application server and then application server send the response to the your laptop screen or the incident page i mean this page it comes back right so this is how a request go from your laptop and then go to the application server then application server looks for the database server and then sends the response back to the application server and then it comes to the laptop it comes to your service now screen that's the client side so that's how data travels from client side to server side it is very very important why because so from next video when we learn about the customization like ui policies ui actions business rules you need this concept so some of this customization like ui policy which works in the client side also things like uh, business rules which mostly work, which works in the server side okay so this is how the difference and how it works it is very important to understand the client side and server side so client side means again when from where you are sending the request and the server side is the application server and the database server who is giving you response back so if you want to do more about server guys i have a video what is server in my uh, uh, windows server 2016 playlist so you go and watch it if you have any confusion about it uh, the detailed video of what is server is explained there okay so now for the client side like i said is the user's browser and it makes the request and then in server side uh, server side is the service now data center side who responds returns the response that i'm looking for an incident the incident comes back now now when you search for the incident okay it goes to request to the application server then database server coming back to application server and the response this whole time that you are asking for information and you are getting the information back to your client side that is the uh your laptop's browser so this time is known as the round trip time okay so round trip time or the rtt it is very very important while you are doing the troubleshooting in service now it is very very important okay so these are the concept of client side server side now you have a clear understanding of what is the how service now works in the back end and in coming videos you will understand more about it you will understand how the business rule comes you will understand uh, while going to the database server or coming back to the database server what are the things gets checked what are the policies gets checked what are the actions happened okay everything we will discuss in the coming video so this series or this section is going to be very very important guys make sure you make sure you watch it fully and understand it and also before ending this video i'll i'm going to go to the so i'm going to go to my browser and i'll type docs.servicenow.com so you know this is the service now product documentation service now documentation page and here you can search of anything and regarding service now and you can get the details so this whatever we have covered in the section 1 like uh, the forms list and stuff like that configure list uh, personalized form and also like condition builder everything you can search here and you can get more information about it for an example let me search about the personalized form form so if you press enter you get it's like google use personalized form personalize a form how to do that for example if i click on that you see you will get all the idea how to do that all the steps are there 
okay so what i'm suggesting you is that after watching my video visit product documentation page to get more about it because in the product documentation there are a lot of things available that you that can definitely help you to know more about a particular things like configuring a form or configuring a list and also in future whatever the things i'm going to tell you the ui policies ui actions and stuff like that that also you can search here and you can get idea from it more idea about it okay so this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video and you learned a new concept today and you learned about the server side and the client side so in the next video we'll learn about ui policy so if you have any doubts guys understanding this video please ask me question in the comment section if you find it helpful give a thumbs up and also share this video to your friends and family so that it can reach out to many people see you in my next video take care bye bye